Hey my peeps, I'm back with another video. Hope everybody's been safe and healthy, you know, during this COVID season. Anyways, I'm here because I saw these mugs at Dollar Tree and I was thinking that they would make a nice gift. And I was thinking, how could I make that, you know, turn that into a gift? So I picked these up from Dollar Tree. This one says congrats. You probably will see it all backwards. And this one says happy birthday. And they're nice heavy duty mugs. Like I said, I got them from Dollar Tree. So I was thinking on how to hook it up. So usually when you see somebody making a like a fake bake um cup or mug or something, they fill it with paper. Or even with um, spackling. But spackling is too expensive to waste on the inside. And nobody's going to see that. But. This. This right here. What you might think as trash. Is a treasure. It's going to save you from filling this up with paper that you know becomes unstable. And save you from using up all your spackle. Now I didn't think of this idea myself um crystal from glitz and glue on facebook um she i got this idea from her and it was so brilliant and clever and i've never ever again went to stuffing my cups with paper so anyway once again her name is crystal and she's on facebook she has a facebook page called glitz and glue it's G I L G L I two T Z and glue. Anyway, what she did, right? She took this to fill this in it and she put a topper on top of it. And that's it. That's how you're gonna you know put your um decorations on top. You can make topper, you can make this just as a topper or anything like that, but you know, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more um like celebration type. So I'm gonna add my fake candy. I got some fake candy here. Oops, I have a video which shows you how to make these lollipops and the cotton candy. I don't have a video showing you how to make these, but if you search on YouTube, you'll find plenty of videos. This is made with polymer clay. I tried making it with air dry clay and it just didn't look as neat so i went with polymer clay i got a couple gummy bears that i made out of resin and another candy i have a macaron that i made uh out of air dry clay i might make a video on these one of these days you're gonna need one of these it's, it's like a picture holder because we're gonna put it in the cup so they could use it. You could, they could use it for putting in a picture, or you could use it to put a gift card to go along with your um, mug. I bought this on Amazon. It came in a pack of like fifty of them, and it was pretty cheap. I think I paid like it wasn't more than ten dollars for all fifty. And I got a little bit of um of these pom poms to sprinkle on top. And I also got some of a little bit of diamond dust. We're going to need some spackle, which I dyed red with acrylic paint. I don't remember if I did, if I showed you how to dye it. Or you just take the spackling, add some um, acrylic paint to it, whatever color you want. Mix it up. That's what we're going to use for our fake frosting. So anyways, let's get back to this. Oh, the... You're gonna need a foam ball because in order for this to stick in there onto your topper you're gonna need something stable the spackle is too soft to hold this and to hold your lollipop and you know all the other treats you need something stable okay so I'm gonna get this out the way because I just want to get this hot stuff away but this is the coolest thing I've bought. 
before I would take my styrofoam and try to cut it with a knife and it was just a, a mess. It would always be like lopsided. I never could cut it in half the right way. So this is where this comes in. This is handy. It cuts it so nicely. Now watch this. I don't want to get burned, but you take it and you just go straight down your bowl and boom it cuts it in half just like that the only thing i don't like is that it be smoking but i just keep a wet rag and i um wipe it down i'm gonna unplug this because i don't want to get burned so i'm gonna put this to the side right here So nothing get burned. I mean, isn't this cool? It's just like the coolest thing ever. Anyway, I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare the cup. We want this part to kind of go on the inside, so we're gonna cut this down a little bit. Not too much, because you don't want a lot of space at the top. Just enough. I think that's good. See, it's just like right on the inside. So you get your glue. And you're going to glue it down to the bottom of the of your mug. Okay. Just hold it down. Let that dry. Stick a glue stick in here. I know I'm still gonna need my scissor. So we gotta cut this. This is just pink from my last craft. So this is a piece of cardboard. I just cut it. I like I saved a, a box of tissue, an empty box of tissue, and I just went around and cut the circle around it and cut it out. But we need to cut it some more because we need for it to go inside. Of the mugs are just cut around a little bit around so it could fit inside inside the mug okay let's see if this is good oh gotta cut a little bit more a little it's not really even round on this side boy okay Not cutting like <laughs> perfect round, you know. Yay! Finally, we did it. So it fits on the inside right there. You see, we just wanted to go right on the inside. So now we're gonna take the glue, glue the tube that's already in there, and pop this back in press down let it dry hold it down give it a few minutes I like to go around you don't have to but I like to go around like to seal it it's just I don't know that's just I just like to seal it. Make sure nothing goes down on this back or anything's gonna go down there. Not that it would, but I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna let that dry. Then you're gonna take your foam top that you cut and you're gonna put it 
on top like that just take you some hot glue you can hear the hot glue burning up that's our foam try to keep it centered hold it and then your mug is ready to decorate what got me started on this is somebody asked me to, a customer asked me to make a mug. So I have one ready here. I'm going to put that other one to the side. This one says, best teacher ever. I also got this one from Dollar Tree. So now it's the fun part. Decorate. Let's clean up a little bit. Get all this unnecessary stuff out of the way. Okay. So, I'm going to get my um, piping tip. I already have it ready. I showed you guys how to prepare it. Going to get my spackling. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but you know, I feel like I could use a little bit of glue right here. Yeah, I don't know like how the design is going to turn out, but I'm going to just go for it see how that goes but like I said I got all these treats that I want to put in there all these treats we're gonna put in here got a macaroon some sprinkles I even made this little it look crazy out of um scatter from Dollar Tree I don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's there. Got my gummy bears. And this to hold your picture. So, let's see how this is going to turn out. Get our spackle. Got my craft sticks. And I'm going to fill up my... Oh, this is kind of soft. Oh, oh. There's no room. Is it going to be stable enough? Should I put some flour in there? Maybe just a little bit. Put a little bit of flour in there. Make it just a little stable. Because uh, it's kind of soft. You don't need a lot. to be too thin I never really had to stick this is a I'm using a new type of um spackle so this is like my first time using this brand and I never really had to put flour in the other one but this one is kind of soft and even um when I first opened it, it was already a little soft. So I was kind of concerned about that. But when you add the paint, it makes it even thinner. So I guess that's what happened. But I think this is good now. Just got to make sure I get all that flour. I don't want chunks of flour in my in my um frosting. All right, I think this is gonna be good. Let's go. Let's put it in the bag. I think this is enough to go around. Let me push this speckling down. Let 
Okay. I'm gonna start on this side over here. Let me see. When you give somebody a mug, you want it to face this way or this way. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The design is on both sides. So I'm gonna start down here, right at the border of the mug. Ugh, this is starting to get on my nerves. Come on. Okay. So now that you have this thing in the middle, you're going to go start going up, bring it up. That's a good, another good thing. It gives you something to put the spackling on. It gives you that like height without actually putting a lot of spackle. So that's good. Let's look at it. I think it looks pretty good, except for right here. I could use a little bit of. I don't like going back around because it'll never look right if you go back a second time, you know. But the only good thing about spackle is that you could you could touch it down and put it in place. But I really don't like going back around. I like to do it. That's just me. All right, so I think we good with that part. So now it's the fun part, decorating. So I know sometimes that this backling, it gets dry pretty fast. So let me get my hand. It gets dry pretty fast. It's like as soon as the hit, air hits it and it's hard to put your um sprinkles on it so i'm gonna try something for the first time i don't know if it's gonna work but i'm gonna mist it with a little bit of water and see if if it helps with the sticking of it really didn't help try this and you don't know unless you try right okay it's sticking but I put a little bit of water on it it's helping to stick I mean they all some of them are gonna come off regardless no matter what you put on you know how you do it these type of things get on my nerves <laughs> they get stuck once you do this you will be finding these palms I mean, these foam balls everywhere. Let me close this cup because before I ended up spilling the whole container and that, that was a nightmare. So now I'm going to put some of these. This diamond glitter on it. It's like a sparkle. Right? Put a whole bunch. Okay. See that? Nice and sparkly. So, put some of this stuff away. Move it out the way. Get these things out of here. Now, it's time to assemble these treats. And so, how am I going to do this? Let me think. Let's think. How do I want to do this? I want it to face this way, so I will have to put the treats. Right? The mug. Put it this way. It looks nice, huh? Right this way. So, okay. So, the this part is going to go in the middle. So, let's put that in first. I'm going to stick it in after this is dry. This is still going to be loose. So, you're going to take a 
thought of this uh, hot glue, put it at the tip and shove it back in and it'll be stable. I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to mess up the, but you know what, let's just do it. Just a little touch of, of hot glue. Let me go right back in that. All right, see, now you're good. So, where should what should we do with this macaroon? Should we put it in sideways? Like, yeah, I think that'll be good. And then these lollipops, are they too long? I'm gonna get my, um, my wire cutter. gonna be too long or should they stick out i'm not sure but you know guys one day i'm gonna make a video where i don't have to run back and get stuff whoa <laughs> i'm gonna cut this down just a little bit and when i made these i should have put it on a nicer um sticks but i wasn't thinking about it i don't know what i was not thinking about so Right, I think I need to cut this a little more. I'm gonna stick the cotton candy. Where am I gonna stick the cotton candy? How about the lollipop? Where do I stick the lollipop? Oh man. And the cotton candy. Just stick the cotton candy back there. I think so. Boom. I'm gonna stick this right here. Oh, great. That turned out. That worked out. I forgot to put, <laughs> I forgot to put a dot again. I glue at the top. Put it at the bottom too, so it won't. I don't know if I like this, but maybe I put them too far apart. How about could I move it? Nope. It still it'll make a hole. Anyway, I'ma stick some gummy bears. Oh, should I let it dry a little bit? Stick the gummy bears on it. Um, oh. I'm gonna stick it like that. Okay. I think that's gonna be good. Let's see. Stick a yellow one over here. Oh, yeah. Still have a, a red one. Hmm. We have to stick one back here. I have some extra ones here. Put an orange one. A yellow. I got yellow too. Because I got an orange one. Let's put a yellow one. Let's put a yellow one. Okay. So what in the Okay, so what do you think? I'm not that crazy about it. But you know what? I think I need to just cut this one down a little bit so I won't Stick it back in there. Okay. So, what do you think? 
Maybe I should put it a little bit. I think I should have put everything a little bit more closer <laughs> and compact. But I don't know. This is a nice, cool gift. Put the picture up in here. I don't have a picture, but if I did, I'll stick it in there. Or you could put the gift a gift card in here. You know, make it your own. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it all. And come back next time for another video. God bless.